Grinders, you know who it is. Your boy Poker Ringer back on the grind. Guys, I always say cheers to you guys. So tonight, if you're old enough, pause the video, make yourself a drink. I'm having a beer. For my Canadian brothers, you guys will know we drink Canadian beer up in here for you people around the world. That's what I'm drinking tonight. So cheers to you guys. Hope you're having a good day. I have two games saved for us so far. One, I'm at the $25. We'll do that right now. And after this, we have one at the final table. So hopefully we can have two final tables for you guys tonight. As you can see, the bankroll is around $900. I'm waiting to get a couple wins here to boost the bankroll back up. So I'm kind of breaking even roughly, a bit of down, a bit of up, hoping to win one to boost it. So let's see what we got here. We're coming into the this game with 25 big blinds, which is not too bad. I'm hoping this guy could sit out the whole game. We'll we'll be down for that. This is the grand grand tour on poker stars. If you don't know by the luck yet, some of you guys are on a phone. How you make money in these is you have to take people out to make their bounties. And if you win it, you advance to, to the next round. I'm definitely gonna call here. Ooh, we could get crazy here and try to represent that, but I don't know if he if he has a four, it's hard to get him off it. So I'm trying to get him off like a two or a seven. There's just more likely he's not gonna fold there. Ace four suited from the button. Gonna go for a raise. Write in your comments, what's your drink of choice? What are you guys drinking around the world? What are you drinking in Canada? Are you guys drinking hard liquor, drinking beer? I used to be quite the drinker back when I was younger. Now that I'm a father and a husband more or less, my drinking days are far and few between, but I do like to have a beer here and there. But I usually only have one or two. Uh, Jack nine, I, I don't know, that's a, for 22 big blinds here, I'm not mad to do a lot of things. I don't mind limping, raising, or folding. It's kind of one of those strange hands in that spot. Now, if it's 22 big blinds with like a slow, small, uh, sorry, a slow blind structure, I don't mind folding. I mean, uh, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to fold if it was slow. But the fact that um, it changes so quick here, you're almost better get to get in like push shove spots. Our jack could be good here. So we're gonna do, start building it up a bit. A lot of draws now, right? Four or five, nine, 10, king 10, hearts, all these things, some gut shots. We have a decent kicker for our jack. So now I'm actually just gonna check call. I don't know how much value I'll get at a six or a three or a four. So he checked it. He probably had some equity now that he checked it so fast. He probably had a pair because a draw would have thought about it to bluff it, but he checked fast. So look, he had a four. He picked up equity. He had the open end I was talking about. And because he hit a pair in the river, he decided to check it because he had enough equity that if I if I had ace higher or something like that, he could take down the pot, right? If he would have thought about it a little bit, a lot of times that means he has completely air and he's thinking about stabbing at it or he could be really strong. But the quick check... And that the fact that we we took it down was uh, I was pretty sure that he had just lo a low pair. So horrible river for us. We're just gonna lay it down. It's a good spot for him to take a bluff for sure. Cause I don't know how many times we'd be checking a straight. Got to think though, a jack and a king and all that doesn't really bet, so he's pretty much representing the straight. Because if he just picked up a jack, he's not betting. If he did bet, he bet like one. You could do a bet, a bet fold. Here I am gonna. We're we're pretty deep stacked here for this format, so I am gonna try to see a flop. I'm hoping he's not limp trapping, because we're gonna get a flop like that when you flop the nuts. This is a scary board for this guy though. Pretty scary board with me in the hand. I'm in the small blind. If he has an overpair though, okay, I want to keep as much customers as I can. I don't want to just isolate here. He might fold an ace high. I think he's extremely strong with that bet size though. He could put me on the on the diamond draw. I'm gonna get him to go all in right here. He's gonna go all in a lot of the times. There he goes. Let's hold, and we got the win here, or we got the uh, bounty. 
So blue is the lowest t-shirt for the amount you're gonna get. You guys have taught me that in the comments. I got my biggest bounty tonight on the final table. I've already won one tonight and the bankroll's still low, but I got $75. It was a, it was um, a dark orange. So it goes blue is the lowest, and then a yellow is the second, and then there's a purple. And today I got a dark orange, and it was $75. That's how bad we're running that. That, that didn't even boost me back to over a thousand. I am gonna float my ace high. I actually, what, what's my note on him? I'm gonna bump him up here. I don't like his bet here. That's what I'm talking about. His note, I have NL10. NL10, uh, sorry, what that note means is I play $10 spin and goes and I labeled him at the $10 spin and go. Um, if I saw that at like saying $50 spin and go, I wouldn't have done that raise knowing that he might be a bit smarter because I also have him, yellow means caution for my colors. Don't forget, we got a final table waiting guys. Okay, we are going to raise here. Very questionable if we call him. We'll be behind, but for the bounty, and we'd be down to like 20. We still have a lot of big blinds if we, we'd be still in first place. So I'd probably have to call that. So this is strange. If I bet I lose a customer, I think I'll bet one. Cause he's not gonna call too, too often unless he has an ace or something, right? There's no draws there. Half me wants to check it, but I don't want him to get a 10 jack or a queen or something. So I'm definitely gonna call here. I'm going to force this play. Don't put him with too many twos. I don't think a two raises us, so he could have an ace here. Our nines now chop. If he had nine king, we chop. Him betting pot here is extremely crazy. Man, he's gotta have an ace then, right? I don't see how I fold here, but such a strange bet. Such a strange bet. There, what a donkey. Was it adding up, guys? It was not adding up. What do we get? So we get the two lowest bounties, but guys, our, our, our head's getting big for this final table when we get there. Let's finish the deal. This guy just jammed city, 20 big blinds. Didn't even think about it. Let's see if he wants to dance now. You wanna dance? Let's do it. Here we go, guys. Let's get to a final table. Let's get a big hold. There's a good start, baby. All right, we're going to the final table. What's the bounty? Give us a dark orange. That's blue again, three blues, but we knocked out the whole table. Look at how many big blinds we got. I hope we go to this final table with a big one. Let's bounce back. This is what happens when you crack a beer, you get your lucky hat on, your lucky shirt, you just put good vibes out in the world and good things happen. Oh shit, we're continuing right away. So it shows we have two games waiting here. Let's see the bankroll. 9.30 with two final tables. We're, last night we did a video with three of them, we went 0 for three. We are not gonna go 0 for two tonight. We're gonna bang both these out. All right, baby. So if we had live, I might do one of these live streams on YouTube soon. My son is seven years old. His name is Nathan. He was watching some guys play like, uh, it's called Roblox, a kid's game and live streamers. And, and I was on YouTube and, and it looked pretty fucking cool. These guys are all able to talk to the community. Everyone's writing them notes. My problem is when I'm playing, I'm not a good reader. And if I have to read all the notes while playing, this guy's a friend of the channel. Give a shout out to this guy. He's from the UK, I think. I talked to him earlier today. Shout out to you in the channel. Let's say R34. Good luck, bro. So good luck to that guy. He said he watches the channel today. I'm recording. I don't even know how to spell that. Look at how bad is that recording. Cheers. Okay, 10 jack suited. This is horrible. We could gamble for two people, but we'll be behind. So I'm going to fold, but it's two bounties. So that sucks. But this guy, look at this. If he's out, he's still in the tournament. Look at this, guys. Let's wake up with a hand right now. 5-4, you're gonna fold fa fast? No, he's not folding. So you right here, Mr. R34 from the UK. My little one game I played with you, you are too aggressive, sir. Your betting sizes are too big. If you want a little advice from me, maybe I'm wrong, but I think you are you keep raising 2.5 big blind in spots where you shouldn't. I think that's a leak. 
Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, ace five with this guy all in. Look at it, he's trying to isolate it. So this is a really spot, man. I could just jam over top of him. Wow, that's a horrible flop. He's gonna bet, no way. I just don't think we're gonna get him to fold too much here. Drop an ace like it's hot. Uh, do we have enough equity to check this or do we still mine in his there's seven chips here, right? I'm gonna do this. I Don't think I'll get the bounty. Uh, he called me king nine. I did that to go after the money that Look how aggressive he is What king nine dice like that's not bad Jack nine and I'm teaching you guys how to be aggressive, right? So I can't hate I can't hate on it. I do the same stuff Can we get a double up? This is a decent hand we'll, we will call an all-in we block a lot of the aces that would have both our kickers Not a good flop if he checks it we will do a stab though just a nice little small little guy. Don't expect too many spades to fold. We get away with it. Lucky for him, he gets to review the game. It's always neat, man, when you get to see yourself on other streams. I'm still, I've been on table when I play like uh, some people and I gotta go watch it. Ace nine, no matter what, we are shipping it here. Let's get a double up. You want Chase's booty, my big booty? We got a Canadian brother up in the house. Ace Queen, I am just gonna jam it. Especially the way this game has gone, I'm playing overly aggressive. Can we win a flip? Let's give him a jack. Ace Queen or a jack or a spade. Yeah, buddy, we had every out in that turn. We win a flip, different night. There we go. <laughs> Cheers, let's go. Uh, 8 10 here. We're so deep stacked here. I am gonna call this and we're gonna jam them all in here He's gonna bet. Oh, man This ace king queen got there now, but I don't think king queen but he does that eh? King queen doesn't do that does two pair do that. That's the question. I Don't think two pair does that Boom, called it. Two pair does not do that. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? $21, Lance Armstrong, sub, Bobby. <laughs> I said, but I have nuts. This is my boy right here. Should we tell him if he's a fan of the channel, he's got to donate and just let us win? And if we knock him out, guys, we're at $97. This means we'll be getting our bounty. And he's got a big juicy one. He's at 90 bucks himself. But if we do lose, we want to lose to this guy because he's a fan of the channel. I want to lose to, if I'm going to lose, I want to lose to anyone who's watching this game. That's how I roll. If you don't watch it, I don't want to lose to you. This is the raise I was telling you he does. It's his, that's his standard raise. I believe it's a little too high, but everyone plays different and if it's working for him Then he he needs to stick to it just because I don't do it doesn't mean it's not the right play it's Just something that I don't do myself Now I would do it in some spin and goes and some tournaments But for this blind structure, I believe it's a little too much because then you're not balanced enough We will check call here a lot of the draws missed and all that I don't think he checks too many jacks He could have us out kicked with the 10, but I will call unless it's an all-in or something but an all-in doesn't even make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. We we chopped it. This guy's been watching the channel here. We're gonna try to do a limb trap. He bet over the pot. Here he goes, he's aggressive. He's always aggra aggressive stats here. You got me with my pants down with Ace Jack. <laughs> okay, he's leading out. Does a king lead out? We'll find out. If he does, it's not the best card for him. OK, 
Okay, we are going to check it. Four or five. He misses straight. A6, we got to call him. We're just going to jam here. Ace Queen, we got a call. We're getting the cards, man. We're getting the cards. But can they hold up? Here we go. Okay, we got him crushed. Can we hold, guys? Can we hold, guys? We do. GG to that guy. He's a big fan of the channel, and I appreciate the love. We get 26 bucks, guys. This is the one of the games we've been waiting for. Big difference from last night. What's the total finale? Show us the glitter. Show us the glitter. Lance Armstrong is back, baby. So we got $48 in bounties plus $150. Let's go look at the new bankroll. We're back to $1,129. Cheers. And now we have a $70 game that we have going to the 60s. We're waiting. This is the night we bounce back, guys. So if I win this, it's my third win of the night, and two while uh, you guys have been watching. We just played this this poker guy in the top. We have 29 big blinds, guys. We have the chip leader. That's a short video. I only grabbed one beer, but if we had another final table, we'd have to crack another one. Yeah, so let me know in the comments, man. What are you guys drinking around the world? I know in Europe, as far as I know, a lot of you guys like war warm beer. In Canada, that is not a thing. At least not a thing I like. I like my beers cold. And I don't like dark beers like stouts or like a Guinness. I know a lot of you guys are going to frown upon that, but I don't like it. I'm a little bit of a girl. Guys, let's go two for two, man. We need this. If you can see, I got stats at the bottom. I showed a buddy today at work. He didn't know, I don't know if you guys see this. The bottom right, I wrote some stats down when I cashed in. So this isn't, this guy did this last time. With top pair, he let out. We have such a shit kicker here. This is just such a bad board for him to do this. This is really soft, guys. But I'm gonna lay this one down, I think. It just it, this is a horrible lead out for him like a really really bad spot for him to lead out like that some spade draws and stuff will do that but it's just a horrible i'm not going to fold too often there and i fold the top pair which a lot of you guys wouldn't and it, on a chart it's probably the wrong probably the wrong play but i'm just going to go with my instinct on how i played this guy last time that's just like exploit of me adjusting to a player. If you pause that and had no information, you sent that to a coach, they'd probably say you have to at least call another street. But I'm on a final table here in a good position and tons of turns would make me have to fold anyways. But that that's one of those hands a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with. And maybe if I had more time to think about it, maybe I'd disagree. Um, guys, my uh, my analysts, if you want to call it that, over these grand tours, everyone keeps asking me bankroll. I heavily think these are... I'm going to fold this too against this guy. Uh, now that he called, I might not. All right, we have top pair, but no heart. If he leads out pot here. Yeah, it's so crazy. He's going to have some ace of hearts here. Now I'm going to fold against two of them. We're making some tight folds here. There's queen 10 and here's the flush. So if he didn't call, we were going to call. So that guy here, that's what he does. When he hits top pairs and stuff, he just bets hard. I should make a note because after tomorrow, I won't remember his name. But Him betting a pot there. A lot of times he's going to have the top pair with like an ace. But a lot of other times he's just going to have the ace of hearts. And like uh, he missed it. Like uh, call it. I don't know, ace jack or something, but he has the ace of hearts in his hand, so he's it's a semi-bluff that he's trying to take it down, but if a heart comes, he has the nuts. You'll see that line a lot. Okay, ace 10. Is this our first big hand we're going to play since we got here? That is not a good flop, especially against the big blind. Pretty good turn, though. We'll just check call. No, can't represent too much here. Can't represent too much there. Hmm. 
Hmm. If he checks it, we were gonna bet. All right, let's go to the value town here. Let's get a little bit of chips. Oh, he's got trip sixes. Yikes. I thought queen X or something. I guess a, a 10 or a five, but question is, could we have got him to fold if we jam there? All right, guys, we're in deep trouble. We need a hand, we need it now. Oh, sorry, what I was gonna say is about these, you need more buy-ins than I would recommend that you take to spin and go. So if you're trying to start a bankroll, you know, the rule of thumb is roughly 100 buy-ins for a spin and goes. <clears throat> some say a little less, some say a little more. I would not be surprised if you want to double it. Here we got a gamble, guys. We're going to be behind, but both 35%, 34%. And we got open end here, and we got there. So we gambled. <clears throat> How about that? I was so close to that percent. All that's based on is what, you know, the range of hands he's going to go all in in front of two people. It wasn't just versus me. So I can open his range up, like, sorry, like tightening it up, knowing he's not going to go risk his tournament against a guy who has him covered. <clears throat> Obviously, sometimes you could be crushed. You could have a pocket pair, then I'm only down to about 18%, 20%. And that, that's sometimes going to happen. But now at least we have him covered for our bounty. So you still, even though if you don't win it, you want to get another chance at another bounty, right? This chest is taking forever. That's what I got locked down. And I have one more small thing. Okay, here guys, because there's a bounty in play, and even if he calls us, we're in a great position to get lucky. We're gonna be flipping almost to any two cards. We'll be about 48% to a lot of his range. And we have this guy covered, all three of them. We have a good chance here. There's a 10, let's hold. Let's get a hold. Guys, look at that. We get the bounty and we get, now we're even in chips. 910 suit is pretty dangerous when you're all in like that. So that's the spot I was talking about. Now we're over our $100, so we can get back-to-back -back wins here. Let's have a sip of our beer, having a fun time with you guys. Let's get some value out of our eight now. And now with that, let's still just get value here. Okay, this is very, very powerful. Not many people have a three bet bluffing, uh, sorry, a three bet bluffing range. So when he does that bet size, he's gonna be extremely strong. It's not like we have a hundred big blinds, right? We have a very short, short uh, big blinds and also a short time limit. So they're not gonna risk doing that, like me jamming them there. He's not gonna fold too often. Spin and goes, you will see it because it's a slower structure. But on this format, they're they're going to be so strong. They're like literally po polarized. Unless you're a 60 player regular player, other than that, they're not going to do that much. Even myself, if I three bed in that spot, I'm going to be extremely strong. But I do more of a three bed jam to to balance my range. Okay, we're gonna bet this flop for sure. Now we have to check it and we're gonna spike a nine. Oh, it's gonna have a two or six. I just, do we ever call queen high for five big blinds? I guess so, he's gonna have a six, a king high, wow. I called because also the diamond draw missed and an inside gutter missed. So queen high sometimes gonna be good there. Okay, now I have enough equity just to check this. Wow, what a horrible run out. Horrible, horrible. Could have a nine, could have a 10, could have a queen. But on that river, it's probably the straight or trips. All right, if he bets, we're going to have to fold. Okay, we're going to go all in here. Oh, we're not. Wow, boo. Okay, 
Wow. They're not giving us much of a chance, are they? 610 suited. We do have to call. We're going to be behind, but we have to gamble. We're 40%. Can we get a 10 or a 6? 10? We get a 6, guys. We're back in it. 5, 6 suited. I don't like it, guys, but I'm going to jam here. Wow, we got to get lucky again. 7, 8. And we got, he's got an open end. Come on, Hurt. Oh, he's got the straight. I can't believe he just snapped called 7, 8. Is that a call in that spot? He did not make a correct call. That was not a call in that spot. That was a fun video though, guys. $1,140, we're back up and rolling. All I ask is for you to smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.